Hi, I'm Lakshmi and today I would like to share with you my version of la moussaka. La moussaka is essentially minced lamb cooked with lots of tomatoes, herbs and spices, layered on top of beautifully roasted vegetables and topped with a rich creamy vegetable sauce. So first of all, we have here aubergine, in some countries we say eggplants, courgette or zucchini and potatoes. So I normally season the vegetable 15 minutes before I bake it in the oven. That's because especially with aubergine, you have to salt it and leave it for about 10 minutes. It drains the excess water in the aubergine and it concentrates the flavor. I've gone ahead and I've added salt and black pepper. We need a tiny bit of olive oil. like a teaspoon and we're gonna add some onions and some thyme which I've already washed make sure the vegetable is coated well with the olive oil. If you think it's too dry, then add a little bit more, tiny bit more. Right, I'm gonna give my hand a quick wash. This is the dish. I will assemble everything to have the finished um, dish. So I'm going to use this one to add the potato. I'm going to use this as the base. Just layer it like that. Don't need to look too fancy. And I'm going to have these baking trays and I'm going to just layer the aubergine like that. And we're going to bake the potatoes, the aubergine and the courgettes for half an hour until the vegetables are fully cooked and it has taken on a lovely golden color. So I've set the oven already at 180 degrees and we're going to bake the vegetables for half an hour until it's fully cooked and has taken on a lovely golden brown color. So while the vegetables are being cooked in the oven, we're going to crack on with the minced lamb. We will need the following. Some salt, black pepper, mint, thyme, onions, garlic, chopped tomatoes, tomato puree, ground cinnamon, and oregano. So we're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil, our onions, Start with the scissors there already. Make sure your onions are fully cooked. Three minutes until it's softened and golden brown. The onions are fully cooked and has taken on a lovely brown color. We're gonna add the chopped garlic. Give this a stir. And I'm going to go ahead and add the tomato puree. You have to kind of cook out the tomato puree to take off the rawness. So I've got here 450 grams of organic minced lamb, which I've got from the butcher. And we're gonna add it straight to the pot. Just break it up with your spoon. Smells wonderful already. So the lamb has been in the pot frying away for about five minutes until the juices has evaporated. Now we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt. Remember, it's all the salt it is. So add a little bit of, at a time and you can always adjust it. A pinch of black pepper. 
I've got here one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and the oregano. We're going to give this a quick stir. And we're going to add the tomato puree. That smells amazing. Right, we're gonna cover it and come back in about five minutes. I'm going to add 75 ml of red wine. Try to use good quality red wine for two reasons. It reflects in the flavor of your food and two, you would love to drink it with your food in the end. So we're going to let, let this cook for 15 minutes and then we're going to have a look again. So the vegetables will be ready in about 10 minutes. I've got the lamb here. Um, it's cooking away nicely and now we have to get on with the white sauce. So for the white sauce, I've got 50 grams of butter and 50 grams of plain or all-purpose flour. We'll cook this off for about three minutes and then we're going to add the milk gradually. So I'm starting with a spatula first and then we're going to go in with the whisk. So after about three minutes, I've been just giving this a, a, a light stir and now we're going to add the milk gradually. A little bit at a time will give you a lovely creamy texture. We're just going to start with the whisk. Just going to take it off from the heat for a little bit just to combine that. It goes really quickly. I'm just gonna add the rest of the milk now. Still off the heat. So now we're gonna return to the heat. We're gonna keep stirring, still on low heat. We're gonna add some salt. and some grated nutmeg. So we're gonna give this a quick taste for salt. I think it needs a little bit more salt. This is about two tablespoons of Parmesan. and we're going to add an egg after, but you have to wait until it's cooled down. We don't want scrambled eggs in our white sauce now. Quick taste. Maybe a little bit more salt. So let's have a look at the lamb to see how it's been going. This looks great. The water, all the liquid has evaporated and we're now going to have a quick taste I think it needs a tiny bit of sugar like about quarter teaspoon just to balance out all that tomato take the heat off let it cool down for a moment and we're going to get the veggies from the oven. The courgette. And the aubergine. So the white sauce is now cooled. It's, it's slightly warm. And now we're going to add 
one egg and give it a good mix don't worry it's going to continue cooking in the oven when we layer the dish this is just going to give it a nice rich flavor so this is the final stage of the dish of making lamb moussaka i'm going to layer the courgettes on top of the potatoes like that it's very tender so be careful it doesn't have to be neat just scatter it don't think I need a spoon really I'm just going to layer it like that this is a rustic dish you don't need to be perfect we're going to layer the minced lamb on top of the vegetables. So we will need that. And just spread it across like that so that the vegetables are covered with the lamb. Right. Finally, the white sauce. We're just going to spread it over the meat like that. Final sprinkling of Parmesan on the top. And we're going to bake this for about 40 to 50 minutes until the top is nice and golden brown. Moussaka has been in the oven. We're gonna take it out now and have a taste. Oh, it's very, very nice. Listen to that sizzle. And the smell is just gorgeous. Look at that. And just for a little bit of garnish. Show you the layers. Look at that. You can see the potatoes and the vegetable and the, the lamb with the bechamel sauce. That looks amazing. Oh, it's very, very hot. I should probably wait until this is cool, but it's just, I can't wait. Mm. Crunchy on the top. Soft and creamy and rich and just beautiful. You must give this a try. I'm sure I guarantee that you will like it and your family will like it as well. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.